Hey, Chris here with Fancy, the Springer Spaniel. I'm going to work on the Spaniel tail. Now, Spaniels can have long or short tails now because in England and a lot of the European countries as well um, as some of the South American countries are now um, leaving the tails on. So um, she has the tail. Typically what they're doing is uh, they're either leaving the feather, the flag, like a setter, or some of them are actually just removing it completely. But I believe that the feather on this particular breed looks nicer. So, okay, let's widen or tighten it up here a little more. And what I'm gonna do is whatever blade that I used on the body, I typically will come down the tail and then go reverse on the underside, okay? Reverse on complete underside. Now, the only time that I would not follow the rear um, assembly or the, the top line into the tail is when their tail set would be low. Then I might leave a little bit of fill here in the upper part, okay? Now, she's a little thin back here, and part of that is because she uh, hasn't grown back her coat. I think uh, she was having a little bit of thyroid trouble, but anyhow tail with the grain on top 5f against on the bottom and then i'm going to take that same 5f at the pin bone with the tail up and i'm going to clean under the rectum with that 5f make sure that i go backwards all the way and then take that same 5f and blend okay right at the pin bone all right, and recognize that when you let go that line's going to move so don't get carried away it's going to go lower and that will give you a nice, clean spaniel tail. Now, if by chance they're sitting down and giving you a lot of grief, take your uh, Oster 45 tooth blenders and just clean that up a little bit more with your blending shears. Make sure right at that pin bone that everything's clean. Huh, chubby cheeks. Same thing here, make sure this is all blended in nicely so that when you look from the side, everything is very clean okay that is the springer spaniel tail